name is Mike Darius. I am the head of support for AD Instruments. And today we're going to look at the Octal Biam to record 12 lead ECG. We're going to be recording eight channels. Uh, we're going to be recording from lead one and lead two using the cardiac access extension, which we can get for free on our website. Uh, we can recalculate the uh, lead three and the augmented leads, AVR, AVL and AVF. And we'll be using LabChart to record all these signals in parallel, so you have a 12 lead ECG recording in lab chart. To record the 12 lead ECG, I've set up lab chart to record from 12 channels. The first eight will be the raw data, the last four will be calculated channels. What we're going to need for this is something called cardiac access. So I have activated cardiac access. If you don't have it, you can download it. And once we have cardiac access installed, we can set up, for example, channel 9, we can go to ECG lead and set that up as um, your lead 1 and then it automatically sets up lead 2, lead 3, AVR, AVL and AVF. So when I click on OK, we'll see that those channels are named according to those leads that it's going to calculate. To see what it's actually doing, you can go to that ECG lead and you'll see this is the formula it uses to calculate that lead. So now we have the 12 lead ECG set up. What I've also done is each of the bioamp inputs I've set to a range of 10 millivolts because these ECG signals won't be going higher than 10 millivolts and this will give us the best resolution for, um, for that type of signal. AVR, AVL and AVF are calculated leads so I don't have to change the range on that. Before placing the electrode, it's really important that you prep the skin before you place the electrode. So usually we use these skin cleansing swabs, which are actually just alcohol swabs. And we just wipe down the area, wipe it down really well. This is just to remove any oils which can uh, cause drift in your signal. And now we can place the electrode. First we're going to look for the chest leads. The important one is V1 um, because everything else is related to V1. So the first thing I do is I find the top of the sternum and about four centimeters down there should be a ridge which is over there. Um, and that should be your second intercostal space. And then I have to move two down to get the fourth intercostal space. And that will be V2 and V1 is just opposite that on the other side. Uh, next I will find V4 which is mid-clavicle and just one intercostal space lower, mid-clavicle, place that one there and then I look for V6 which is mid-axillary on the same level. That will be over there and then I can just fill in halfway in between is V5 and halfway between these two is going to be V3. So once I've found those spots, I can stick on the electrodes. On the other side of the sternum. And then we have V3. Come on. V5 and V6. And then we can take each of these wires and run them into the octal bioamp into channels 1 through to, through to 6. Right now we're going to stick on the limb leads um, for lead 1 and lead 2. So we're first going to stick on left arm and try and stick it on somewhere where there is um, not a lot of muscle or muscle movement because that will just cause EMG. And we're going to put on right arm and then we can connect the left leg which is the reference for all the augmented leads 
And lastly, we can stick on the common, which goes to the ground input on, um, on the octal bioamp. Stick that on the right leg. Right, so um, we should be able to see all channels. If you don't see one of the channels come up and it says out of range, just remember to go to setup and DC restore all inputs. And then it should come within range, about 10 millivolt range. I can also go to setup and Auto continuous auto scale under commands. We'll be able to see all the different lead channels with lead three, AVR, AVL, and AVF being calculated in the software. Sometimes you may have a noisy signal. To get rid of that noisy signal, we can go into the bioamp and then select mains filter. This mains filter will um, adapt to the noise frequency or the um, power frequency and then remove that noise. One of the new features of the new octal bioamp, um, we have the ability to measure DC signals. Um, so with recording ECGs, make sure you set the high pass filter to anywhere 0.1 or 0.3 hertz so that we have some AC coupling on that signal which will bring it nicely around zero millivolts and hold it there. An important part of getting really clean ECG data is to have the subject uh, either lying down or sitting very relaxed in a chair um, as EMG can cause a lot of noise artifacts in your signal. The Opel Bioamp is galvanically isolated for safety and the unit has been externally certified safe for human use. It comes with a variety of filters and great noise reduction um, for signals like ECG, EMG and EEG.